What do you think helped Netflix evolve from shipping DVDs to streaming video over the web? Or helped Amazon to predict how much equipment to buy to meet traffic demands? How do you think NASA was able to analyze data from the Mars rover Curiosity? What would have made it possible for Walmart to become the king of the big box retailers and help Facebook refresh its mobile app so rapidly? The answer to all these questions is DevOps. The DevOps market generated $3.36 billion in 2017 and is expected to generate $9.4 billion by 2023. DevOps is helping many organizations to automate their entire process. The process allows any organization to create and improve their products at a faster pace than traditional models. So now let's understand what is DevOps. DevOps, as the name suggests, is a combination of two practices. Dev refers to development and ops refers to operations. DevOps is not a workflow, but a culture that brings these two teams together. The development team writes codes for new products, security updates, and bug fixes. The operations team looks after the servers and makes sure that the deployments happen more reliably and frequently. The main focus of DevOps is on integrating these two teams in order to improve collaboration and increase productivity by automating the entire process of software development. DevOps has several stages and tools to ensure that all this process is implemented in the best possible manner. Let us have a look at all these stages with the tools that play a significant role in that phase. Beginning with the development phase. So the first step is to put down a plan that includes the modules and the algorithms to be used in the software. And once the plan is finalized, it is developed with tools like Git, as Git helps in storing all the codes and different versions of those codes. This is called the version control system. Now this code is fetched and made executable in the next stage, that is the build phase. This phase uses tools like Gradle and Maven. After the code is made executable, it is supposed to be tested. The next stage tests the code for any bugs, and the most popular tool used in this phase is Selenium. Once the testing is done, deployment comes into consideration, and this is where the work of the operations team begins. In the deployment phase, the product is deployed, and this deployed product is continuously configured to the desired state. The tools that automate these phases are Ansible, Puppet, and Docker. The product from here is continuously monitored for any failures, and the most common tool that makes it possible is Nagios. The feedback of all the monitoring is sent back to the planning phase. This process is repeated in continuous cycles until we reach a satisfactory result. This completes the entire DevOps cycle, the process of automation from the planning phase to the monitoring phase. This is what is referred to as the core of DevOps lifecycle, the integration phase. Jenkins, another DevOps tool, is known for sending the code for build and test. And if this code passes the test, it is further deployed and monitored. Let us have a look at some features that are making industries move toward DevOps. Increase customer satisfaction. Improve response time. Fewer chances of implementation failure. Reduction in IT cost. Better business agility. Higher employee productivity and satisfaction. Faster delivery. Better release control. Frequent software releases. Better collaboration among teams. Automated server configuration. Now, when you know so much about DevOps, you must be curious to know what the future of DevOps holds. It is quite evident that DevOps is on the rise and it's going to have a long way ahead. There are several fields that DevOps is going to be explored in the near future. Every organization has started leaning toward automation. 
so DevOps is going to play a major role in new upcoming organizations. When everything moves toward automation, there will be a need for DevOps in the security field. DevOps framework in AI and ML will help the DevOps team to focus on innovation and creativity by enabling them to manage the amount and speed of data in a more efficient way. DevOps focuses on infrastructure as code, which ensures continuity as all the processes from building to staging are configured automatically with no place for human error. The future of DevOps will make the culture more popular. There is no industry that does not want to shift toward more reliability in deployment. Every organization wishes to deliver their product in shorter durations and reduce the gap between its development team and operations team. All these scenarios will take DevOps to new heights in the near future. There are organizations that have shifted toward DevOps and many are planning to do the same. Hence, the jobs in the market for DevOps engineers are certainly going to rise in the near future. So when are you planning to master DevOps? You can begin today with Simply Learn's DevOps Certification Training Course. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to Simply Learn.